All right, sisters. If you would just relax and rest easy in your chair. Allow yourself to settle in your seat. Let your feet be on the ground. Feel your connection to Mother Earth, who has provided every harvest for every woman on Earth for eons. She is our ground of being in the physical, our source for the physical world. Feel your connection also to Nefertiti, great queen of the ages, who harvested much during her lifetime, who left a legacy of power for us women now. Drop in, drop in, drop in. You walk a desert path, rocky and dry. You carry many valuable things in a large basket on your back. The items in the basket are meant for others, for people and things you care for. And you are bringing these important and necessary things to them. You are looking forward to arriving at your destination for the basket is heavy and you are tired. The sun shines hot overhead and you long for a cool tree to shade you, a small clean pond from which to drink. But what is this up ahead in the distance? You see a pergola, a white painted archway covered with climbing and trailing, bright colored flowering greenery. You see that stairs lead downward into even more cool green. And you hurry towards it. Surely down the stairs into this magical garden will be food and water and rest for you. You arrive at the entrance gate with the stairs leading down. A lovely little girl in white appears and greets you and bids you follow her down the stairs. You set foot on the first step, feeling excited to come to this place. Another step down into the cool, you feel happy anticipation. A third step down and down and you are feeling very relaxed, your muscles soft and comfortable. Another step down, your feeling of peace and joy and well-being deepens. Another step down, and you know you are coming to the right place for you. Last step, at the very bottom now you have arrived. Set your basket down here, the little girl says, motioning to a small bench, and let me lead you to food and drink and a place to rest. You gratefully set your heavy basket down on the bench and allow the little girl in white to lead you from the stairs onto a beautiful flowering path into a floral garden. Large shade trees cover the path making it cool and lovely. Flowers of every kind bloom around you, filling the air with fragrance. It is so lovely here. The little girl leads you to a crystal clear babbling brook where you wash your dusty face and hands. She leads you on to a golden gazebo that looks half temple, half open air room. Oh, you see who is seated there. You know where you are now. It is the domain of Nefertiti herself. She is as beautiful as you have been told. She sees you and graciously rises to greet you, thanking the little girl for bringing you. I've been waiting for you, she says happily. From a crystal pitcher, into two crystal glasses. She pours you both a lovely libation. 
and the sparkling cool liquid goes down gratefully. You chat peacefully for a bit, getting to know her better. She looks very deeply at you and she says quietly, your harvest is in for this year. Are you ready to see it? Curious, you are, you are ready to see it. The two of you rise and depart the beautiful gazebo on into the garden and down another path that flows to a beautiful orderly field of growing things. Near to you are rows of lovely ripe on the vine plants, potatoes and zucchini, carrots and beans, onions and kale. Just past this, you spy a small orchard with tall, mature fruit trees, heavy with fruit on the branches, ready for the plucking. Next to those are rows of grapevines, bursting with purple fleshy grapes, juicy and full. On the far side you see, creating a high green hedge, beautiful berry bushes laden with blackberry, raspberry, blueberry, all ripe in the sun and ready for your gathering basket. Everything looks so luscious and wonderful. Nefertiti speaks. This field represents all the good in your life, good that you have created with your intention, your work, your focus, your effort, your good heart, all the good things you have done in the world, all the help you have given others too. It is all coming back to you now. You have sown this and now you are to reap the reward. But before you receive it, let's look at another field. Her expression tells you that field may not be so wonderful. You follow her down a little path out of your beautiful harvest field. And before you is another field. Oh, dry, neglected, withered plants, weeds. Nefertiti speaks. This is the field of your neglected things. This too is part of your harvest. This too is what comes back to you for the things in your life that perhaps you should have attended to, but did not. This is the field of your harvest where you gave too much to others and left yourself nothing. This is the field where you were in denial. This is the field of the result of you not including yourself in the goodness. This is the field of you mistakenly acting as if you did not belong to all life and were not worthy to receive the full measure of good that life was holding for you, offering to you. This is the field of the sad results of any lack of self-care and self-nurturing. There's no judgment in her voice, simply the truth for you to look at. And you feel you can look at this field with no shame or blame, simply a new, fresh look at what is, how it came to be, and how you might do differently from now on for a better harvest in this very field next year. One more, Nefertiti says, leading you now beyond your neglected field into not a field at all, but a rambling meadow of grass and flowers, ringed by a wild dappled dark wood. She gestures towards the woods. This is all you cannot control. This is all that you need not control. This is the wild area that cannot be tamed, that cannot be tilled, 
that cannot be directed, that cannot be put into neat little rows. This is the area that no planning or planting can change, no work or effort can alter. This is untamed, undomesticated mother nature. It is filled with Shakti, with life force, with goodness for you. But you can only take from this meadow and forest when you have completely surrendered to she who creates it for you. This is the wild nature of goddess and it is always part of you. Nefertiti leaves you now for a few minutes to absorb the Shakti of the wild area, to contemplate what in your life you might do in the future, to stop trying to control what might be best surrendered to, what might be best to simply flow with. Helpful ideas and new thoughts are coming to you easily. You smile and feel joyful and supported by Mother Nature in her wildness, in her goodness, in her abundance. You feel her energy restore you and you know that more will unfold later. After a time, Nefertiti reappears asking if you are ready to return and you are. And so you follow her away from the wild meadow from the forest, past the neglected area, past the beautiful harvest ready for gathering, and back to the gazebo. And the two of you sit together once again, and you feel that you are equals in every way. Seated at the lovely table, now you see that it is fully laden with colorful food and drink. Nefertiti pours a second libation to celebrate you you are fully rejuvenated now and hungry. She makes a plate for you of wonderful, fresh from the garden foods, beautifully presented, all delicious. You dine with Nefertiti on all the good harvest and you feel satisfied and nourished, complete and content. She smiles at you across the table and her face begins to change. Oh. Somehow, what is happening? Somehow, her face becomes your face. Your most beautiful face, your true face. The face of a good queen, joyful as a maiden, nurturing as a mother, wise as a crone. You realize you are Queen Nefertiti and you always have been able to receive holding a powerful and good vision for life, along with healthy and compassionate boundaries, and feeling deep, deep gratitude for all your harvests, all your awareness, all of life. Nefertiti lives inside you now. Nefertiti is you. You have received your harvest for this year fully. You feel full of goodness and grateful. You reflect calmly on your little neglected field and more and more ideas come to you about how to bring this field too into your good harvest next year. You feel your deep gratitude for this awareness. The beautiful little girl appears by your side and escorts you, her queen, back out the golden gazebo through the exquisite fragrant floral gardens to the foot of the stairs leading upwards. You see your heavy basket that you left at the bench is gone. You look quizzically at the little girl. Oh, that was all distributed to the right people for you. Nothing to carry now. Feeling light as a feather, you kiss her goodbye on the cheek and getting close to her lovely little face, you take a good look and you see, oh, it's your face. You realize now this little girl is you, your wise little maiden self. Yes, you are maiden, you are mother, you are queen, you are a wise woman. You have all the aspects and powers within you. 
feeling connected to all life. Airs rising into the dawning sky, stepping up, feeling light as a feather. Another step up, knowing all is well. Another step up into your true life, continuing from this point forward. Last step up, here you are. All is well. All is well. All is truly well. Breathing easily. Wiggling your fingers and toes. Blessed be. Blessed be. Blessed be. Let us say together three times. It is done. 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 done. One more. It It is is done. done. It is done. It is done. And it is finished in beauty. And it is finished in beauty.